This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. Turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com, offer code BANGBANG for 10% off. Fast food you ain't supposed to eat while you're fasting, dum-dum. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to Side of McG for that catchphrase submission, but I don't believe it's going to stick. Sorry, Side of McG. Um, Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week. Uh, This is exciting. We have coming up on the show an entrepreneur. We, it, it seems like we've had a lot of entrepreneurs on this show recently, but uh, and they all seem to have crazy ideas, but I'm sure this one will be just a regular uh, person that we will be able to talk to about uh, his various ideas for a business. And uh, speaking of business and entrepreneurs, my... Uh, my first guest on the show here with me is uh, in the business called Show Business, and he sells himself uh, and his image, his his graven image and craven image <laughs> to various uh, streaming services of all stripes, including uh, the recent Netflix hit Glau, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, uh, where he plays the man who saves Glau. Uh, please welcome to the show. You know him from SNL. You know him from Boat Trip. You know him from. Give me something else. Um, uh, I was on. I was. I did a cameo on uh, Parks and Rec. Really? <laughs> what Par- character? Parks and Rec. Well, I played. Did myself. you play a park or a rec? Oh, you played yourself. I played myself in the future. Really? Uh, I was a preacher. Okay. Named Horatio Sands, and I married some some people. Re- who? I think a gay marriage. You you married a, uh, a, a gay couple, a, a gay couple, and this was uh, uh, it was in the future. Yeah, it was in the future. Crazy. What year? You remember they did that thing? Where, didn't they have a whole season that was set in the future? Yeah, it was in it was then the future, but now it's the past, my dear boy. Please welcome oh. Horatio Sands. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good to be back in time. <laughs> Good to be back in time. <laughs> Um, what is your hat? This this is why people listen to this show to you know hear the the tough interview questions like what is your hat? Well, this is a Chicago Cubs hat. Okay. And if you know, I've, I long suffered with the Cubs, and if you know any Cub fan, you know that they're it's a very sad following until recently when they won. And so this is this is the only time I've been able to wear any uh, Cubs stuff is with pride. With pride, right? Yeah. Before and- it was with shame. And this is not the traditional Cubs hat. This has a little picture of a little bear. Yeah, it's cute. Like a little it's bear a cute cup. Little, like, it's cute for toddlers too. They call, everyone can enjoy this. Yeah, everyone can enjoy this. You don't have to be a Cubs fan to no, enjoy this hat. No, you can be a toddlers, toddler. Cubs fans, <laughs> old ladies. Sure. Um, yeah. And uh, what, hats. Let's talk about them. Are they good for keeping the sun out of your eyes, or are they good for hiding messy hair? What do you primarily use yours for? If I'm walking my dog, I use it as a sun shield. Okay. And if and if, but mostly it's because my hair's messy. Yeah. And I don't want to, you know, mess with it. At what point do you think did hats become messy <laughs> hair hiders? Because it, it used to be you would do your hair and then put on a top hat or, or whatever. <laughs> but at some point, it seems like maybe in the 1970s, hats' sole purpose now are messy hair hiders. <laughs> You know me. I think it happened uh, when when baseball hats became very popular uh, around the time that uh, baseball. Yeah, around the you turn know, of the it's century. Inter- it's interesting because baseball was invented, and people were like, "Hey, let's put on a hat on these players." And so they do. They create these hats, baseball hats. They put them on players, and it's to keep the sun out of their eyes when they're going back for a uh, uh, you know a, a, a long pop, fly, a pop fly, a pop fly. Um, and then people are like. 
oh man, I gotta wear one of these. And so they go, they put them on sale to the general public. And then the first, I would imagine for the first three months or so, you'd see someone wearing one on the street and go, pardon me, aren't you a baseball player? Shouldn't you be out on the field? And people, no, 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 these are for sale to the general public. And then they become popular to the point where now I would say more uh, people in gen pop uh, wear these baseball hats than actual baseball players. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, they do more because you don't want also you don't want to be a baseball player who's when he's off the field, he's also wearing a baseball hat. Like going to the concert with so the, those guys exclusively don't wear baseball hats after right. uh, off the field. So what happens, though, if they need to keep the sun out of their eyes or hide messy hair? Do, what kind of hats do they wear? I know a lot of the Dominican players are wearing pith helmets. <laughs> Um, when they go out and party. Like a Jumanji uh, pith helmet? Y'all are forgetting some big hats. I know I'm not supposed to talk. Oh, no, you're oh, you're you're, you're, uh, you're able to talk. This is our, our, our next guest, the entrepreneur that I was... It doesn't matter what I do now. Y'all are forgetting fedoras. Y'all are forgetting them floppy hats that French people wear. The berets. Barrett's. Y'all are forgetting them rice paddy hats that come from other... From other countries. I don't. I don't. I mean, I guess. Yeah. What are those called? Uh, Ross Patty hats. I, I guess. Although it doesn't sound right coming out of your mouth. Why? To say, especially Rice with patty hat. especially with your your dialect. Ross Patty hat. I don't. How am I maybe, supposed to say it? Maybe that is the technical term for them. Although it just makes okay. me feel weird hearing well, I wish that. I could so Google I Google right now. Upside down. Upside down saucer hat. Okay. Perhaps. How's that work? Do you want me to to introduce you now that you're? You I just wanted. Talking? I just. You can keep talking. I just wanted to make no. sure y'all knew we, about we, fedoras. We do know about I guess them. berets and mm-hmm. rice but uh, sauce plate hats. <laughs> okay. You know, you know why we, rice rice patty hats are so popular? Because I wish you're we would stop to, saying this. You're supposed to eat your rice out of them and then put them on your head when you're finished. <laughs> no, you're hey, not. It's waste not, no. want not. No, and you're forgetting cowboy hats. <laughs> what type of hats? Cowboy hats. Cow- oh, cow- I thought you said cowboy hats. Uh, no, cowboy <laughs> Cowboy hats, yes. Yes, sir. Please, let us not forget cowboy hats. Let, lest we not forget the cowboy hats. Now, that's another one. Uh, suddenly, in the especially in the 1980s, people started wearing cowboy hats when oh, they weren't God. cowboys. I it just you, causes confusion. You do not want to see any photos of me back in the 1980s. I was wearing just a, 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 nothing but a cowboy hat. Oh, do you have Sometimes. any photos on you? Sure, here you go. All right, let me take a look at these. There you go. Okay. That's oh. me in 1981. Wow. That's me in 1982. All of these photos, they, they're Trifolded like a Playboy centerfold. Yeah, well, yeah. I had to. Get, I have to fold them up. Sometimes they let loose. Right. Well, pandemonium oh, strikes. Oh my gosh! This uh, Raji yeah, wants these. This is sexual content. Yeah, this it? is. Uh, I, it's I, pretty should suggestive. Give me a, it's suggestive. Should have given me a warning. Well, a it's a good warning. thing it's a podcast. Otherwise, the other listeners would be That's pumping true. their damn stereos or well, something. Well, let me introduce you because uh, I I do want to make sure that I say your name because when I call you your name, I don't want the listeners to be confused. You understand that, right? Of Course. That makes sense. I don't know why anyone. Uh, what, what's you saying? I'm saying that I need to introduce you and tell the listeners your oh, name, just yeah. on the off chance that were I to say your name, people wouldn't be saying, "Who the hell is he talking about?" Oh, it, so an introduction. Is an introduction. Okay, yeah, is yeah, what I'm talking ahead. about. Yeah. yeah. Um, he is yeah, a man. He is an entrepreneur. Uh-huh. He is sitting here in front of uh, Horatio Sands and I, and he uh-huh. is. Uh, I can't tell if he's starstruck or not. Uh, please welcome. Reasonably. <laughs> Great. Please welcome <laughs> Lyle Cummings. Hi there. How y'all? I really want to give this guy a break. I feel. <laughs> well. How do you mean? Do you mean like a Kit Kat bar? What are you talking about? Oh, that's funny. I feel funny. like a Kit Kat bar, and I've been trying to You're get reaching that into joke. your pocket. That's why I'm saying. Oh, no, no. You said, no. I really want to give this guy a break, and you start reaching into your pocket for something. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've seen that in my life, and it has not been a Kit, a Kit Kat, Kat bar. bar. Boy, so. I would say nine times out of ten, it's not a Kit Kat no, bar. No, it's anything but. I'm rooting for you, is what I'm saying. But oh, that's the tenth time. Jeez, you're about the only one. Um, now, you're an entrepreneur, is that correct? I sell Sherbert currently. That's my latest game. Oh, that's the latest in a long yeah. line of well, uh, goodness. I, I mean, we'll get into businesses? that in, for, in a bit, but okay, maybe sure. I just, I've got a so Sherbert truck. Currently, you're sur- oh, a, a truck, in a truck. I go around the neighborhoods and I sell Sherbert out my damn truck. So it's sort of like an ice cream truck. But exclusively Sherbert. Exclusively Sherbert. Do you like Sherbert, Horatio? You're a big Sherbert guy. I'm not a big Sherbert guy, but I do enjoy it once in a while. If you let me ask you now, I want you to a- answer me. My dad um, was a so big, that, yeah, um, typical Sherbert asking guy. question kind of thing. Okay. You, you want now, to answer, answer you. me? Answer me now on this question here. <laughs> I come to you. I got two cups. One's ice cream filled with 
cow blood and piss and shit. I don't know yeah. that that's really the case with ice cream. And then the other ones, sherbet. It's cool. It's refreshing. It's clean. What you gonna have? I'm gonna have that shitty one because I know from memory that it tastes better. Uh, God dang it! <laughs> but this one, this well, sherbet well, is sherbet's great. It's mandarin orange flavored or lemon. Mm. Or, Why are all the sherbets? They seem to be all fruit flavors. Is that the only way to get flavor into them? It is technically it is. What is the difference between sherbet and ice cream? You're asking questions you don't want to know the answers no, to. No, I, I like buddy, you. This goes want all to know the, the way answers. to the top. <laughs> The top of your organization? The top of the goddamn uh, government, Illuminati, whatever you oh. want to believe controls this here world. Okay. Well, I, I think it's uh, random chaos. and uh, oh, We got another one of these liberal L.A. random chaos heads. <laughs> well, tell Cry babies. T- tell me, I, I, I don't like to be characterized as such, but uh, if you could just stick to the questions that have been asked, what is the difference between Sherbert and... And ice cream. One is made from cow's titties. And the other one isn't. That's the big difference. That's okay. So cows uh, udders. Titties. <laughs> Each cow has six tits. <laughs> I guess. I've never I actually don't know. I don't I, know the answer. To that. I, I've never I, counted them. Hold on one second. I'm sick. This is exactly why you have an iPhone. Okay. Hey Siri. <laughs> hey Siri. <laughs> hey Siri. Siri. Oh, God. oh, let me do. Let me. Have, I'll ask. Yeah, Bixby. you guys are okay. I'll ask Bixby what he thinks. How many titties are on a cow? Oh, it thinks I'm saying TDs. Oh, touchdowns. How many touchdowns does a cow have? <laughs> I, hey, there's nothing in the rule book, so it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so it's just Horatio, searching Google and say I want her to riddle you want, me this. Yeah, you want her to actually say it. It you, doesn't matter. She's a goddamn bitch. And can, oh my god, no! Please, have you ever uh, forced Siri to say something like "I love you" or something that every uh, day it, of my life? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Horatio, do you have the answer on this about how many uh, uh, udders a, a cow has? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen titties. Unlucky number. No wonder cows are eating y'all, all the time. You're all telling me you want to get essentially the devil's, the devil's animal, have a bowl full of its titty cream, flavored to God knows what, vanilla, chocolate. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. Instead of something clean, precious, and pure like what, sherbet. What is, what is sherbet? Is it is it just like ice that's crushed up and then you add a little bit of fruit to it what what exactly is sherbet these again you're going down a path it's almost like you, you don't, don't know you no know, i'm telling i'm trying to protect you're the you, expert man. i'm trying to protect you also it seems like like 90 percent of sherbet you see in stores is in a big bucket and it's swirled together <laughs> that's not my problem <laughs> is that, that is that, that the type of sherbet it? that you serve on your truck well yeah, but it's it ain't my problem. That's the problem of the consumer. Right, but so in, on your truck, you can get different flavors. They all mixed up together. You can get <laughs> mandarin orange, lemon, lime, but all mixed up together. Raspberry or the big Kahuna, which is all of them mixed up together. Okay, but Uh-oh. you can get them separately. That's if great. If you want. Okay, and how- nobody does that. <laughs> Why do you Trust have it then? Me. Yeah, options. Right, okay. You got to provide the customer with choices so that they feel that they've made a special decision in their life. So how's the truck doing? Are you, is it successful? Hey man, I honestly I don't give two squirts about this damn truck. <laughs> Why are you it's doing it? It's anything to get me off the street. Re- so you you've had trouble being on the street. Goodness. I started on the straight and narrow. I okay. mean, we can one, two, skip if you get right to the early 90s when I was sucking dick all up on the North Carolina coast just trying to get by. Okay, I, I just guess. Just getting by. Just trying to get by. Just like groceries. And- <laughs> just, <laughs> just groceries, Basic rent, cable bill. Ba- Netflix. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is in the early 90s when Netflix was expensive. <laughs> right. When they were oh, beta yeah. testing when Netflix. They were beta. Just sending out DVDs. Oh, my goodness. Um, so this is just for your basic expenses. This is just basic expenses. My right. party month. Now, listen. Before that, my very first job, I was... Hired by the superintendent of the local school to go into the middle school and strangle the teens. 
to, st- to strangle the, the teens. You know, so what, how, is, what would be the possible <laughs> reason for that? It seems uh, that, you know how you know how them teens like to choke each other or make each other pass out, okay, and they I come mean, to when it's a real rush. Right, you know how yeah, that's happened. I guess so. Yeah, I guess, uh, oxygen going up into the brain is very euphoric, as they say. It, it, you want to, yeah. you want to hear it play Bill Nye for me? You, you can. I, I, I'm just here doing. Well, you, I was just doing my job. Anyhow, that time at that school, this is called uh, Trenton Downey Middle School. Uh, <laughs> middle school. <laughs> yeah, this was. I, I took this care is of getting the, them early. I took care of the seventh and eighth graders. Okay. Because uh, uh, there was another person who took care of the ninth graders. She's a big old. Old lady, big, 300, 300 plus pound. Who woman. would hire you? Is what I'm trying. I'm to... trying to get to it. Okay, please. These kids, at the time, you have to understand this is 88, 89. These kids were doing it every damn day, multiple times a day. The whole school in class. In uh, class, they were okay. sneaking off to the back during the lesson, strangling each other, <laughs> passing each other out. It got to the point where a couple kids died. Oh, no. And so superintendent hired a couple people, myself included, to do it for the kids supervised. So in a safe environment where you were able to – how are Once you a medical time, professional? Absolutely not. It was You have to understand, it was an epidemic. These kids – couldn't stop passing out. Okay. And so they hired. I didn't have any qualification. I was fresh out of college myself. I came you're, in. You're barely older than them. Way in over my head. Right. But here I am, beginning to lunch, all these kids lining up, 7th, 8th graders, and I'm just They're doing this on their them. lunch break instead of during class. <laughs> it's just, yeah, look, we had to organize it, create some structure to it. Okay. Now, there's a bit, There's a reason I didn't take care of the 9th graders, because they're big kids. That's okay. why you got to have that bigger lady. Right, right. So, so then so they what thrash was, around. You could get seriously injured. What was your technique then? You would you would clasp your hands around you their know, throats. I or? wish I could tell you that there was something to it. So you was oh. like uh, you said. So instead of the kids doing it, you're like, I'll do it. Tell I, me what you want. Tell me who you want me to choke out. <laughs> I saw the help wanted sign on the paper. Right. There's a help wanted there was sign. There's a help wanted sign. Oh, well, symbol. No, what am I trying to say? Yeah, uh, well, an ad. An probably. ad. An ad. <laughs> there was an ad in the paper. When I, I, when I see strangle, I, I, I turn the other way if I see that ad. It just said help wanted. It just said help wanted. That's so you it. had to you had to go to <laughs> oh, Did it, it have any strangle? information about the school? <laughs> Who to contact? It said help wanted come to this <laughs> come to, to the Trenton school. Okay. Downey. <laughs> Junior middle school. I can imagine that's not, I mean, just asking people to come there is not, I mean, that's an unsafe environment. Are you telling me? You telling me? Anyway, I, I was only but a, one of but a few that replied to the advertisement. Hmm. There was supposed to be one for each grade. Okay. But the other fellow didn't work out. So they plopped seven. He was a known child molester. <laughs> He was, he was known. He was renowned. <laughs> renowned. So, so this famous. this ad back, famous for it. This ad really backfired on them to just have he was like celebrated coming for by. It. Come on. I don't think real so. famous guy. No, no. Real famous I, guy. I think he was probably reported in the papers. Is what you're talking about? Oh, I don't he, know. he was running for mayor and all kinds of things. So that, was, does, that does so happen. Conflict of interest. So, so he was kicked out. He was, uh, yeah, immediately. So yeah. you had to take care of. Two of the grades. Yeah, and I tell you, it, you know, nothing to it. You want to say, oh, it's, you know, it's this, it's this technique. We had to take training on it or anything like that. No, you, just, teenager, young teen lines up, place your, place your hands around his neck. Bam, they're out. Ba- they're Squeeze out. as hard as you can. And then what, do you have a, a first aid kit or a defibrillator on yeah, you? Yeah, there was something or? on site, but I got so good at it, I can make them go out. Two seconds. Don't okay, it's not it. the going out that I'm concerned about. It's the waking <laughs> them back up. Well, sometimes the- they take a bit, but uh, all that means is they're going to have whatever they want to have happen in a better way. I don't, I, don't, out, I don't know what that means. The higher you come back up. Okay, sure. But so, so then if you're... <gasps> It, what is the purpose of having you there if you don't have medical equipment, if you're not uh, undergoing any kind of you're safety equipment? You're going to have to call the superintendent. Should I? 
Are you still I got doing his it? number. You're still you doing have his it. Number? Uh, yeah. I, no, no, no. I, I only did it for a couple of years. I'm telling you, that stuff sticks with you. Okay, let's uh, let's call him. Here we All go. Right. What's his name? Uh, uh, pe- penis. <laughs> what, <laughs> I'm just joking. What is he? I'm just <laughs> You're joking. joking. Okay, good. <laughs> no, it, I was going to say his name was something weird like that. Pepper. Oh, Peppers McGilly. Peppers McGilly. All right, let's call him. <laughs> Can we get Peppers on the line? Here we go. You have his number. Great. Okay, you're putting it in. Peppers McGilly. Hey, Superintendent, and I believe, I don't know if he still is, but at 88, 89, he certainly was, and this was his pilot right, we'll program just call the to school. strangle these kids. We're calling the school right now, and... Uh, Hello? Hi. Hey! It, it, this, Hello? This Peppers, Peppers McGilly, do you remember my voice? It's Lyle Cummings. Hi, Lyle. How are you? <laughs> hey, buddy. I was, uh, uh, I, you know, I strangled oh, the man, teens. Oh, man, this is a great, I, it's nice to hear your voice again. Pleasure to hear your voice, too. Oh, heck, we were just talking the other day. I was over there at Barnum's, and uh, they were saying, where, where did that guy go? And I was like, well, I don't know, probably choking kids out in some other town over there. <laughs> no, I got out of that game years ago. I'm selling Sherbert now. <laughs> Oh, good for you. Good yeah. for you. Out and of a truck or something? Out of a truck. Anyhow, I got this Peppers radio host Hi, here. Hi, Scott Ackerman here from Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, look at there. Hey, how are you, Scott? I'm good. You ever seen my television show? Oh, yeah, I've seen it. I, I, look, I look past it, and, uh, and I, some of it makes me real, real happy. <laughs> okay, well, great. Um, I'm sorry about the other parts. <laughs> Um, oh, but, you know, I, well, I got children and a wife. I can't just sit in front of a television set all day like some people. Okay, well, That's Peppers, true. can I ask you some questions about this uh, joking kids out? And oh yeah, it became a real big problem in the nineties. I don't know. If, hey, you know it got, yeah, it got worse. I, I it left got worse. I left after eighty nine when you left. Yeah, I, it was getting too bad. I said, I said to Peppers, you remember? I went to your office. I yeah. can't handle this no. And the thing too, the guys we hired, they're kind of like just starting to choke people out. That weren't even asking for it. So, I mean, it started becoming an epidemic on their end also. So, just, so the yeah, people you brought in to fix the problem were the a bigger problem than the original wait, problem. Affirmative. You know, you know how you go to war, you come back, you're a changed man. I, that's what I've heard, yeah. That's, I mean, a lot of these guys that went into the Choking Teens program, the S. STP. The SSTP. The, the CTP, I mean. Oh, the CT. The CT. The CT choking Teens program. <laughs> you, you come out and you can't stop choking. Oh, really? So you didn't stop choking? I've been I've been choke free for only about six years. So I went a, okay. a long time. That's a still long, choking. long time. Yeah, we're we're petitioning the county now to build a, a memorial wall for all the chokers. And- that the Board of Education hired, so we're going to have a big wall. The chokers? Name. Not the people who, who died? You're just I mean, they're going to have They're going to have their own thing, but the, the, <laughs> this is more this more focuses on the epidemic of young men that were working for the Board of Education and a force to choke people out. Okay, so you're putting up a memorial wall That's right. for the people you hired to choke these teens. Uh, and it's gonna. And we're starting. We're petitioning the county now. We're starting to do some fundraising, and uh, and I'd love you to come in. Oh, uh, bless Lord. you, Peppers. Bless you. <laughs> that is so. It it warms my heart. You know, it's such an under uh, discussed thing that's going on in our mm, country. What a great way to put it. Under yeah, discussed. You know, this Sherbert thing doesn't work out. You know, you always got it. <sighs> The job back. Yeah, in. I don't know if I could. Maybe uh, you could come back and do a like. Is would there be a ribbon cutting around this or something? An alumni. <laughs> yeah. Some, I mean, I'd love to. Yeah, but I'd like to put you in front of the kids and just have you do an assembly hall a performance or. Peppers, can, can I ask how did you get how did you get this job? You sound very unqualified to shepherd oh, young you. children. <laughs> He's a superintendent. Of, superintendent I can of education. Superintendent. How of and, and ever since County. the eighties? I've or, been here for a long time. Well, I'm a, uh, I know I don't sound it, but I'm uh, I'm 94 years old. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, 94 how years do, young. I like to say. How do you keep uh, your voice from sounding that old? Uh, I'm all, I'm constantly War- doing I, I vocal warm ups. I put moisturizer on a on a rubber dilly, <laughs> and I just tickle my tonsils with that. And just keep yep. everything moist. Yep. <laughs> He's a big gravy guy. <laughs> I remember you being it really uh, into gravy, and I I I, I have no. Uh, well, scientific either, evidence. You're either in the gravy or ranch. For gravy or ranch, everybody can be one or the other. I, there's an old saying where we come from. If you're if you're not knee deep in gravy, your ass is somewhere else. 
I don't know. I think if you eat too much gravy, you're going to, you know, add an ARD to the end of gravy and wind up what? there. Oh, boy. Grave, you grave both, buddy. Graveyard? Graveyard. Oh. <laughs> you're going to wind up at the graveyard because I've it clogs the arteries. Oh, God. But I don't know. You're 94 years young. Oh, so. Bob, I've had to cut back on my escorts for sure. On uh, your what? Your escorts? On my escorts. Yeah. Every weekend, uh, my wife and I would uh, allow me to have sex with an escort. Every you know, that weekend? Kept me young, but it also was a dangerous game. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, 52 uh, different escorts. I couldn't feel my, my left foot for a while because of all the Cialis that was pumping through my heart. Wow. But uh, we got her done. Well, why do it if you why do it if you need Cialis to do it? It doesn't seem like it would be that fun for you if you need if you're not excited by the whole. Uh, <laughs> it's not an excitement issue, Scott. Uh, you can still get her out, but then your Peter don't work. Then okay, you see, bump into Cialis. Some okay. men have uh, difficulties <laughs> making their brain connect with their danger. Okay, that's not you though. Oh, I actually have what is known as permanent erection syndrome. Per- oh, so you have PES. P- you have PES. Is you that still so- got that? I do, and uh, oh, a lot man. of a lot of guys say so. <laughs> Wow, what the heck's wrong with that? That sounds fantastic. He could just do about just about anything. That's, one, that's the one the only complaint we got from parents was when he was strangling out kids and he <laughs> had a full on heart on. Look, <laughs> because they assumed look, that that was causing it. Look, I, I wish I could put that thing away. And a God yeah, has... Please put it away, by the way. God if, has if it's cursed out. me with a real meaty package. Oh, my gosh. You could see it through thick trousers, denim... I mean, there's nothing yeah, you can have to hide it. I so wore I hammer know. loop, double cargo pant, dickies, and you could still see. You could still. Uh, that's that's too bad. So how does it affect your life then, Lyle? Well, a lot of people think I'm just ready to go when I'm just trying to order a burger. Yeah. Uh, Peppers, uh, we're not keeping you from work, are we? <laughs> uh, you are, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but I gotta, be, there's a lot of important stuff we got to come do here. Oh, really? What, uh, what are you up to today? Well, right now... We're we're trying to keep books out of the f- first grade. Keep them out. Keep them out completely. What, do, uh, uh, like certain books, you I mean? Just or any this? book, any book that has people uh, mixing around and moving around. <laughs> just people. They, they just were anything. having. They like were a, having There's a trouble. book with a monkey in it. A book with a human in it. No way. <laughs> yeah, they they ha- they've been having this trouble where kids, first graders, were taking the pages out of books hmm. and crumpling them up. And trying to, what what would you say? Do a seance, embrace a dark art, something. Well, there, we just board some kind of creatures uh, and, into, the, into the present. And trying to summon whatever was in the books into reality. Okay, so through you, through blood magic or dark magic. Okay, so and and were you hired to take care of that at all? I, they tried to wrangle me in. I said I can't be around them youths no more. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's too traumatized. What do you, Peppers? What's going on there? You seem to be I'm just moving show, I'm around a lot. Papers. I'm looking at my iPad. I'm just seeing all the things I have to do. <laughs> okay. Well, don't let uh, us keep you if you if you have to get no, to these no, books. No, I'm having fun listening. But if you give all as long as you guys don't mind me doing a little work here, keep, yeah, no, no keep problem. The doors do you, open. Do you like Sherbert? I love man. I love it. Um, and, yeah. I, and I was thinking maybe it was a local thing because man, this this is this town was almost built on on Sherbert. Yeah. There were uh, actually there were about four different uh, at the time of of the town's settling. There was about four. You're different getting very sh- sentimental right now. Sh- uh, four different Sherbert mines. Sherbert mines. And they were uh, we get we lost a lot of good men first getting them Sherberts out, but uh, yeah, there's like a fifty fifty uh, survival rate. Survival right now. Oh my gosh, why would anyone take that job? It, sounds- you you, it sounds like you've never had Sherbert. I I think I've had it when they're out of ice cream occasionally. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> yeah, but you like it? My father, my grandfather, and uh, and my uncle they all died um, back in the fifties. There was a huge That's Sherbert a, mine collapse. Yeah, that United a, Sherbert. Why didn't they just eat their way out? Because it's mixed in there with rock and dirt and shit. You, you're not going to eat your... If you die in a coal mine, you're going to eat your way out? <laughs> well, yeah, you, it's not, it's not, you it's, can't it's, eat coal. They were, they were just trapped by Sherbert. <laughs> they were in mines where they were, where they were kind of making it in there. Right? They had to get the, the earth had to be super cool. This is in Macon? 
You know, yeah. do you not do you not know how a sherbet mine works? I guess not. I guess okay. I've never heard of it. You first you detach sherbet within the hills. By the way, Peppers, your mine. voice got very slow. Are you groggy or something? <laughs> what is? It's getting late today. It's oh, not late. Man. It's, it's new. Late. It's new. Yeah. You We're guys there in Los Angeles is probably like uh, nine a.m. over here. It's already like eight p.m. <laughs> now, you first detect sherbet within the land. And <laughs> how does one do that? By drilling? By you can see it ooze up through the uh, okay. ground, or earthworms. Sometimes earthworms. Earth earth, sometimes <laughs> if them earthworms taste <laughs> lemony, so you're going around eating earthworms to see if they. You taste don't have to eat lemony. the earthworms. You just lick them. You give them a suck and a lick. <laughs> Slurp them. Slurp them. Slurp worms. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> okay, thanks. So you have, you have to. Um, Am I still on here? Yeah, yes, Peppers. <laughs> Peppers, you're still with us. If you have to go, Peppers. though. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just saying, yeah, that, the earthworms, when you, they come out, sometimes if you have enough of them, you can get a little little high from it. Okay. Yeah. There's a, earthworms also excrete a, I, the, I've been told it's bile, but <laughs> you slurp enough of it, you start saying things. Really? So earthworm bile has hallucinogenic properties to it? Enough of it, yes. Well, you, okay. you just say weird things. <laughs> you say weird things. So like you, you come home and you tell your mother that you're in love with her and things like this. <laughs> this has happened to you, Peppers? strange. Yeah, we, we've all tried it in our teens, definitely, to lick the bile off an of earthworm and then go with... And it, and it disorients you just enough where you say weird things. Okay, but you're not seeing things. No, you're, not at all. Yeah, you're just saying slightly weird things. Well, yeah, yeah, but you mix that with strangling yourself or <laughs> trying to embrace the monsters in your books through dark art rituals. Okay. You I mean, guys you are get, you get into a real wacky world. You guys are two of a kind here, I have to say, because you you I I don't think either of you should have been in charge of supervising children. Scott, we didn't make up the world; we just live in it. Okay, I guess so. I guess you're right about that. You know what they say about making? If you're not making it and making it, then you're not in making. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Peppers, for that. <laughs> All right. So now, you guys have a good one. Oh wait, you're leaving now. Oh, okay. I don't have to. No, please, know. no. I yeah, please, please leave. Hold on. Get what? Go ahead and hold my call, baby. All right, go ahead and see you, baby. Okay, no, right. <laughs> you don't need to hold your calls. We're going to a break anyway. You do, like, there's no purpose okay. to oh, in right. talking to you. I mean, can we we'll, listen to the commercials? You can, yeah. Do you want to hear them? Can we uh, make sure that they align with our views? <laughs> what are your views? Give me our two of your systems. two of your belief systems. Uh, being kind to others. Okay, they probably do. Yes, and uh, a a barter based economy. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, I doubt that any of our commercials are going to line up with that. So uh, let's not listen to them. But, um, okay, are you, Peppers, you have to go or? Uh... No, I'm good. I'm okay, good. <laughs> all right, well, just we'll be right. myself on Scott. Just pour myself on Scott. <laughs> okay, great. Well, Peppers, I'm not sure how you knew that, Lyle. Uh, we're... I know Scott's when I hate it. <laughs> we're going to be right back with more Peppers <laughs> McGilly, more Lyle Cummings, and Horatio, you're still here with us. You've been very I am. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hello? Yeah, I'm in the phone. <laughs> How did you get in there? Hold on, let me get out of here. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Whew. Whew. All right, we're going to be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> I love that song. My favorite. Because I know when I hear it. Two people done fell in love. Oh, I love it. Wedding season is upon us. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. And when you're going to a wedding and you're bringing a date, you want to look good, don't you? I mean, when you're going to a wedding, you want to look good anyway. But if, you, if you're bringing a date, you don't want to embarrass them. You know what I mean? You don't want to embarrass your partner. They're going to look good. Why don't you look good? Well, fortunately, my friend, this is where theblacktux.com comes into the picture. That's right. What theblacktux.com does is it lets you rent awesome suits and tuxedos in all styles online, completely online. You don't have to go to that terrible store 
in the on the corner in town that never ordered my shirt. And the day before my wedding, <laughs> I went in there and I was like, where's the shirt that comes with this? And they're like, we forgot to order it. No, don't be like me with my wedding. <laughs> be like you with going to whatever you go to. With the Black Tux, you can take your style to the next level in funky, cool options like... This sounds funky and cool. The Emerald Shawl Tuxedo. Ooh. And blow it out for your big one-time event. That's the other thing. You don't have to buy a tuxedo if you're only going to use it once every couple of years. Just rent them. And with free home try-on, you can feel the quality and see the fit months before your event. Okay, here's how it works. After ordering, your suit is going to arrive 14 days before your event. If anything is less than perfect, the Black Tux is going to send you a replacement right away. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you have 14 days to wear this thing. I'd wear it every day. I just walk around town in a tux. Um, so wear it. Turn heads. Send it back three days later. That's 17 days. You have 17 full days to wear this thing. Try to schedule all of your events in this 17-day period if you can it's that easy. It's so easy. Shipping, it's free both ways. Uh, TheBlackTux.com, it's, uh, these suits look good, okay? I've rented them. I showed up. People were like, oh, dang, son. And I was like, please stop talking like that. Um, to get $20 off your purchase, visit TheBlackTux.com slash bang bang. That is TheBlackTux.com slash bang bang. You'll get $20 off your purchase. And let me tell you something. The Black Tux... What they are is premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. <laughs> Driven by the mission to provide a better place to sleep for everybody, Lisa is an innovative direct-to-consumer online mattress brand that is also socially conscious. Did that grab you? Pretty dramatic. Pretty dramatic intro, I gotta say. These podcasts uh, add... Uh, uh, companies are uh, really uh, kicking it up a notch. Yeah, boom. Um, yeah, it's dramatic. Driven by the mission to provide a better place to sleep for everybody. Lisa is an innovative direct-to-consumer online mattress brand that's also socially conscious. I tell you, if a movie started like this, I'd be like, I'm in. I'm staying. I'm not walking out and depending a refund like most movies. I like What I like to do is I like to go to a movie. I watch five minutes of it. I go, I get it. Bunch of problems for the main character. Yeah, they'll solve it by the end. I just walk out. I, I feel like I've seen it, and I get my full refund. But not with this movie, not with Lisa. Let me tell you about Lisa. For every 10 mattresses that Lisa sells, they donate one to a shelter through their 110 program. So they're making all these mattresses in uh, units of 11, Okay, because they're selling 10 and giving away one. So they're like, okay, that's one unit of 11. So they sell 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, 121, 133. Is that right? No, 120, 132, 144. Oh, my gosh. The math at this company gets very, very confusing if it gets up past uh, 10 units of 11, I, I have to tell you. Um, but not only that, they also plant a tree for every mattress sold. So that's easy. So they're just counting the trees by the ones. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, and they donate 1% of each employee's time to volunteer for local causes. That's great. See, they are socially conscious. Not to mention with a patented universal adaptive feel, Lisa is designed for all types of sleepers and... Here we go. He's going to talk about the layers. Those three premium foam layers. Oh, man. You know I'm going to talk about these layers. You got a two-inch Avena foam top layer for cooling and breathability. You got a two-inch memory foam middle layer for body contouring and pressure relief. Ooh, and that six-inch dense core support foam, Daddy, for durability and structure, which works for sleepers of all sizes. Yes, all three of those. 
Though uh, that's 10 inches of premium foam. Uh, and now Lisa is continuing to expand its offerings to include the Lisa pillow, blanket, foundation, and frame. No wonder it's a Forbes Top 20 startup to watch. Try a Lisa mattress in your own home for 100 nights, risk-free, available in the U.S., U.K., Canada, and Germany online with free shipping. This 100% American-made mattress ships compressed in a box right to your door. Or you can try it out at the Lisa Dream Gallery in Soho, NYC, and Virginia Beach, and over 80 West Elm stores nationwide. Get $160 off when you go to lisa.com slash bang bang. That's $160 off when you go to l-e-e-s-a dot com slash bang bang. <laughs> Comedy bang bang, we're back here. Lyle Cummings uh, hey, hey. from Macon, Georgia yep. is here with us. Sherbert uh, salesman, uh, Sherbert extraordinaire. Is now, is, is now a way of life as to coping with what's happening in the preview. It's you know, it's a, a way to get you decades. out on the streets and not alone with your thoughts or off the streets, you said. It yeah, it pays the bills. I mean, I did make more money doing other things in life. I mean, that's why take, those things took a toll on. Well, I mean, you probably you didn't make money doing what you mentioned previously because I was just covering your basic Sucking expenses. Dick all up and down the <laughs> yes, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Carolina coastline. <laughs> But yeah. that was just covering expenses. This has to make more money for you than that. No, although current day Netflix subscriptions are less than early 90s Netflix. Uh, okay, so yeah, it balances super, itself super. out. We also have Peppers McGilly, who is the superintendent of uh, – what was the name of the – Trenton Downey Middle School. Trenton Downey Middle School, which also you work with first graders taking away their books, apparently. Hi, Peppers. You still with us? Yeah, um – how are, hey, how's everybody doing over there? I'm... I'm a superintendent of education in Macon County. Yes, we've covered this. And, uh, yeah, I have to deal with uh, first graders all the way up into high school graduates. Okay, so you're you're doing students 360. Yes. 360, yeah. 360 degrees. <laughs> He's doing them 360, Why man. are you laughing about that? <laughs> <laughs> I just never heard that term, man. I, mean, well, I don't, I don't if know. I say, what... If I say to someone who's... Parent, hey, I'm doing your kids 360. They're going to they're look at me strange and tell me, like, well, you better get yourself into the county jail. That's true. You know, there's a lot of wild things happening in Macon County. Really? You know, well, them kids doing the seances and, and yeah. uh, you know, strangling and all that. Anything but, that you haven't mentioned? Well, kids I don't, will be kids. Ki- yeah, you got to understand. Be kids. kids are going to be kids. And you can sit them down and say, hey, y'all are nuts. But in the end, they're just kids. We can't expect them to be adults with their rational minds, fully developed brains. They're buddy, always going to be kids. Uh, buddy, you said it. You said it. I saw about 40 different children, all ages, running around, all and, ages, all running around in cut off jeans. High fiving each other okay. and slipping down a yellow wet banana. Like Fat Albert pants. <laughs> Just cut up any kind of way. Some of them mismatched on the on the legs, you know, one okay. longer, one shorter. What's the problem here? I don't I don't quite and understand these what you're kids these kids are running around. Okay. These short cut off jeans. Sure. No laws against this. Celebrating yes. If you ask them what you're celebrating for, they'll tell you some Cockamamie excuse. Why are you even talking to them? (laughs) (laughs) They got to talk to them. I work with them. I got to talk to them. Yeah, you do, Peppers, unfortunately. Much as the public would like you not to talk to them. I still have Uh, my badge. I still have my badge. What badge do you have? What were you issued? I was issued a standard issue, Macon County, Georgia, Georgia, (laughs) uh, Educainment. (laughs) <laughs> edutainment? There was a, so that's like a, educating with entertainment? That's right. It's a term we came up with here that I, I, I fostered in a few sheriffs of you know, uh, edutainment. Yeah. Sheriffs. So, so, so you were issued a badge. Why didn't Peppers, why didn't you, you collect his badge? You weren't issued a service weapon either, were you? I, I did. Yeah, I had about I had, a, I had two revolvers. I was trained in akimbo technique. Akimbo technique. I was what trained in a dual pistol. <laughs> s- That's where you're using both at the same I, time? I was trained to use both at the same time. Okay. Yes. And you were issued two service revolvers and Wait, a badge. You I, didn't I'm have sorry. To- yes. Scott, do you think that somehow we didn't, for some reason, didn't strangle these kids in front 
of a live audience. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I thought you were doing That's it off to the, the side. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, we we, we a we live audience, them. not of kids. At lunchtime, yeah. we corralled them into the gym. We had an outfit from Los Angeles that kind of helped us stream. <laughs> so an audience <laughs> coordinator. <laughs> yeah. Now you got to understand, this was early, late eighties, early nineties. So streaming, right. you were Very getting expensive. that little printout, <laughs> uh, the dot matrix. Sure. Yeah. And it was printout after printout, but you would wow. you would. <laughs> Clearly, be able to see an wow. adult strangling a teen. Okay, and, uh, and we made beta videos, and uh, they're all the around the videos. To what end? Were you selling these, or oh, yeah, we we're selling them to raise money for uh, for to, the, to raise this wall, to this stop. wall I want, uh, the, the memorial wall for <laughs> you went, for stranglers. That so were, wait, <laughs> you are hiring stranglers to pay for a wall to memorialize the stranglers that you hired? The snake was eating its tail. There's no doubt. <laughs> it's There's no you, doubt. You, you got to understand. It's the bureaucracy in any township. You're going to find in any county that you have to deal with a lot of it. Yeah. You, you have okay. to understand. When I came in to, um, to, the, to the scene, to these, sure. to these teams, you have to understand that there was about four to five teens dying <laughs> so between, per day. Between four and five. Between four to five teens. We had to start bringing teens from other counties, other uh, counties just to just fill to, up the seats in the to, school. <laughs> to plump the numbers. Now, they were dying every day from self-strangulation. Uh, unsupervised strangulation. Unsupervised strangulation. So that's why we brought in the task force. The, the CTP? The CTP. Okay. And that's why I got my badge. And that's why I was trained in dual okay. pistols. Akimbo technique. Akimbo technique. Right. Were the others trained in the similar technique? or Everyone specialized. Okay. So it was like so the Dirty a, Dozen where <laughs> a couple, there was one fellow who specialized in katana. Okay. Someone else had ninja stars. That's true. It's well, like you were there. One guy could throw a playing card into a watermelon. Okay. So this is like yeah. the Suicide Squad or something. I'll just... Uh, it, just I don't a ragtag group of <laughs> Wait, we're, fellers that weren't really a, a part of anything in their own world. But much like the Suicide Squad, were you putting collars, explosive collars around their necks in order to blow up their brains if they didn't comply with your wishes? I, could, I, I did have... We did put the bomb around one guy, and then he went and uh, robbed the bank and... <sighs> Claimed that, yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> we shouldn't have singled him out for no reason. <laughs> it was. Uh, we did have, but we had uh, some locked tough, tough. neck devices that we had on a lot of the fellows because that was part of the, their probation. Well, okay, we were, everyone was on probation. Many of them were on probation. <laughs> you you see, were on they, probation, Lyle? at the time, yes, because oh, okay. I was I was still in and out of jail for all that dick sucking I've been doing. Okay, so that was before this job. Okay. Yes, sir. But you, so you have to understand ago. that when when the day when the whistle blew, <laughs> and the CTP had <laughs> finished their work day, we weren't allowed to go home. We were okay. all put down <laughs> you in the... You finished your work day. You're not allowed to go home. We were all put down in the basement of the school. Oh, okay. And our necks were chained to each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and in the basement. We had, and then yeah, we had the, housing issues right from the get-go. Okay, so Peppers, you're, you're incarcerating these people. In a way, yeah. <laughs> in every way. They're unable to leave. They're they're chained to each other. Apparently, you're at a school that doesn't have bells ringing. It has whistles blowing at the end of the day. Well, we had a lot of unwelcome attention from uh, people uh, outside the county that wanted to participate and become stranglers, maybe for not the best reasons. <laughs> I, I don't think the these. people who you hired are doing it for the best I'm reasons. I'm doing it for the kids. Oh, oh the kids. So they would, yeah, to... So they wouldn't choke each other out and maybe do it in a dangerous way. We had supervised chokers and stranglers coming into all these schools. Yeah, I know the premise. <laughs> and we had, I guess we had started getting the wrong type of fella, wrong t type of a fella that was kind of just choking everybody out. So we had to have I, I remember him. Uh, do you, you want, we'll, we'll drop a name because he's behind bars, okay. so he can't do no more harm. Oh, really? What's his name? Tubbit Tunkin. Tubbit Tunkin. <laughs> yeah, big fella. And he's behind bars. Seven though. foot two. Hands like grapes. Just a big guy. Wait, his hands, hands like are grapes. like grapes? <laughs> no, just big old, you know, like big grapes. Whole, like a whole. Trying, but but grapes, 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 like even the biggest grape. of grapes oh, yeah, like are about, bunch. oh, like a bunch. Okay. I was going to say. Like a big old bunch of buying a plastic bag of Big Wiggy. <laughs> okay, got it. So he's got <laughs> hands. <laughs> hands that are slightly bigger than hands. 
They'd beg old hands. And this fella would stomp around. You knew he mm. was coming. You knew Tubber, Tubbit was coming. Right. And he, he may be, yeah, he, he, he may have been in it for the wrong reasons. Hashtag wrong reasons. Well, why is he incarcerated currently? I believe it's some related hashtag charges. Incarcerated but. currently. <laughs> hashtag incarcerated currently. We're just yeah. dropping hashtags on the show, by the way. If you want to use any of them <laughs> while you tweet about the show, I'd really hashtag appreciate it. Education squad. <laughs> okay. yeah, I'm not sure that you want a, any attention drawn to what you're doing at the school. Well, uh, Tubbit, are, we, are you still talking about Tubbit? Yeah, we're talking about. Yeah, Tubbit. I'm trying to think of the reason why he's is he still in jail. is he's still incarcerated? He's incarcerated. Peppers. He, he talked. Is? He talked us into a new method of choking kids out, where he would just sit on them for several seconds. Okay. Uh, and one afternoon, he he just sat on a group of like seven kids. And they okay. Were, they were. And that was what he was arrested for. That's seemed... when he was finally arrested. <laughs> for what? Well, for I quantity? <laughs> because he was bail. doing it in bulk. <laughs> you have to understand, Scott. He was eluding police for years. Oh, we would we would find these kids. Our kid would come to me. I put my hands up to his neck or his or her neck, and I'd see there on the chest, I see butt marks. I say, what the heck is going on? When you on? say butt marks, it means like skid marks I, or the impression? Of- definite impression of a butt. <laughs> okay. You could see the rivets on the jeans. You know, you could see <laughs> the butt marks. I see. I see. And, and like I, the I said, 501 I, symbol. I was saying to uh, someone, I said, I remember saying to you, I said, someone isn't strangling these kids. Someone is sitting on them. Okay, so, and that's, did you... Uh, Years this was going on, and right. police couldn't find a suspect. <laughs> the we police thought, are coming by. Again, They're we fine with everything, except for someone <laughs> sitting on the kids. This was is, yeah. Are the police in your pocket or something? No, or you, they're not. No? They are good friends of ours. I mean, we all know each other. They recognize know. the problem. They, they yeah. were the one that helps us organize the arena aspect of it because right, the with parking the audience would, coordinator. You know, and, sometimes these kids wouldn't get fully passed out, and there'd be a riot on the hands, and parents are saying, I want you to choke my kid again. He didn't pass out. And I said, ma'am, I made your child pass out. You know, it would be a bit. Sometimes they would get into, turn into riots. Right, right. So we need Peppers, uh, you, you have s- just strange ideas about education. Now, why? How did you ever get interested in in acquiring this job? Well, my mother, whom I lived with, um, we all do that usually, unless you know our mothers until about a week ago. Away. Oh, when she passed. Um, oh, I'm so, so sorry. A week my ago, my mother's work was in. When education. You say about a week ago. What oh, are you about? about a, what day is it today? I don't know. Uh, today's Monday. Mm, yeah, so it's been about a week. She she okay. she lived to a ripe old age because you're 94. <laughs> yeah, she was 126. Oh my god! Uh, well, one of the oldest women in uh, all of the world. Wow! Yeah. Congratulations on that fact. Although now she is not. But you know, it's a Jesus. thing. She's been around so long that it's like enough already, kind of. It's know? it's too bad when you die. You know, you automatically no longer have that uh, that record anymore. You know what I mean? That's like the only record that you can have that you can lose by dying. Like if you're the person who uh, ate, you know, the most amount of hot dogs in a minute or whatever, you don't lose that when you die. But if you're oldest person and you die, you're no longer the oldest person. It's really sad. When Unless you you're the, the oldest person like in living ever. Right. Yeah. No, that's only one of those. Yeah. Who's that? Um. Uh, who? Who? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still on the line. Who's Who's the oldest? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you brought the person up. I, Su- Suzanne Summers. <laughs> okay, enough with the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but this, but now, but Tubbit, when Tubbit, we found Tubbit was just sit, sitting on a kid, just smushing the laugh. Okay, so it took several years, but you found we Tubbit. Found it out. That yeah, he had to go away. He's and uh-huh. and he's been incarcerated now for thirty years. About. Just for sitting on seven well, kids? Well, he keeps getting into trouble in jail. You this, know? Oh, this is, I yeah, see. you got to understand, Tubbit's not the feller that would get let out on kind of good behavior. Right, okay. He's so. got, a, he's got a, a twinkle in his eyes that says, I'm up to no good. Okay. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. He solemnly swear with a twinkle in my eye, though. <laughs> yeah. He's on a he's, macrobiotic diet that I swear he grows. He oh, in he's prison now up to seven four. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. He grows. He doesn't grow the food. He's he no, grows in height. I see. No, he, he grows, he's grown. He he's grown. Something out. Yeah, he's grown about uh, one inch this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so he used to be. 
<laughs> he used to be 6'11? 7'3 when I knew him. Oh, okay. And I, I'm just hearing now he's up 7'4. That's, oh, an, seven inch. Four. Oh, That's okay. an inch over a considerable <laughs> amount of time. You have to understand. 30 years, yeah. I, I don't know how, if you're still growing, that's, that stopped I, for me. No, I'm so. not. No, normally people shrink, shrink the older exactly. they get. Yeah. But now he's on this macrobiotic. Oh, diet. interesting. Well, congratulations to him. We're uh, building a statue for him. Um, you're building just, a statue just for to raise, him? <laughs> just to raise awareness of some, how, how sometimes people can go wrong. Yeah. It doesn't mean okay. that they're he's, wrong. Or, he's more of a, 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 a a scarecrow, in a sense. To oh, say. I see. He's a ward of evil. Uh, Peppers, did we ever get to uh, your mother passed away? How did you get interested in education? Oh, um, I pretended to be my mother for <laughs> for about fifteen years. Uh, just took on her job, and eventually, I learned a job. And then I, one day, I said, "You know what? I'm not going to dress and drag anymore." <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to be my mother. So your mother had this job in the 70s and 60s yeah, it was or so? Yeah, in the 70s. Um, okay. Yeah, she started in the 50s. So you she can started, imagine. okay. So she was there for a long you time. Can just you that. slowly started. <laughs> you just, just imagine. That. I, don't, I get it. I don't have <laughs> to imagine it. 1950s. Just imagine that. <laughs> I've seen Back to the Future, so I have a vague, rough idea. But, uh, 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 and then one day you just slowly took over her job by dressing as her going to work. We look a lot alike, Avi. Right. Um, and and, yeah, and, and you got to switch room. Put yourself in her shoes. You show up to work and you're well, that's already, what he did. Well, no. Put yourself. <laughs> Scott, enough of your jokes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, he, 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 you got to understand. Hey! <laughs> that it, 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 you... You put yourself in her shoes in the sense you go to you go to work and you're already there. You, you say, "What a minute! Well, what hell? I'm gonna go. I'm gone fishing or something." Yeah. I don't know what you're, you're trying take to say. A break. You put you get yourself to work and you're already there. Oh, her. Oh, yeah, it, it, she's she's oh, saying so you I'm going to go to work and then and then and then she sees she's already Peppers there. Is all, you know, as her already there. She, right. She's gonna say, "Well, I guess I'm okay, already at it. work. Time to go. Time, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Get a pedicure. Is that what happened, or did you?" Wow. For for uh, the for, uh, first first couple months, you know, people were af- acting strange and saying like, "You're not her. What are you doing? <laughs> um, you don't know anything about this job." She knew things. Where is she? What have you done to her? This kind of thing. Right? Did but did you do something to her? Or no, I did. I did not. I told her. She said, "I'm tired of working, and it's time for you to start working." And she came up with this idea. Oh, that she I would did. Just oh, take okay. her job from her. Wow. Okay. And uh, wow. And this was uh, she was she was about your age now. <laughs> Uh, back yeah. then, <laughs> well, it, it freed her up to do all kinds of things. It it, it really did. I mean, yeah. she's actually kind of a local hero in our parts. Oh, Except really? She so, couldn't do it as herself. No, yeah, she had to take on she had his. To take on my- oh, okay, so you guys just <laughs> switched clothes essentially. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy town. This is crazy county. You it's know? crazy. We, it's, get her, yeah. we get her done which way, one way or the other. That's true. Yeah, okay. You know what they say? You try and deliver a calf with your feet, you're the one going inside. <laughs> I, I, okay. I, I don't know how that would work, but, uh, you know, we need to take a break, if that's okay. Uh, Peppers, uh, do you want to stick around? I, you have so much to do. You, I know. It's very, I'm very busy, but I can hang out for one more segment. <laughs> okay. How do you know there's only one more segment? Do you listen to the show? I, I just, mean, I know I you've figured, seen the show. I'm just, I'm I mean, just figuring it's it, about 40 minutes. It could yeah, possibly okay. be longer than one more segment. Right. No, of course not. All right. We're going to come right back uh, with more Lyle Cummings and more Peppers McGilly and Horatio. Are you still cool sticking around? Or? Sure. This is, this is great. <laughs> Wait, Horatio, why myself. are you on he's, the phone he's, again? He's, <laughs> he's stuck in the phone. <laughs> I keep getting in the phone. Okay, yeah, you got to get out of the phone, man. All right, get out of there. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, here you are. (laughs) Much better. All right, we'll be right back with more comedy, (laughs) Batman. Nighty night. Are you dreaming yet? Well, turn those dreams into realities with Squarespace. You thought I was going to talk about mattresses again, didn't you? No. Tricked you. Turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. That's a nice idea, isn't it? How does it work, though, Squarespace? Well, let me tell you. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Maybe you're looking to start a business. Maybe you want to showcase some of your work. Maybe you just want to sling some tent. Maybe you want to sell products. Whatever you want to do. Whatever it is, Squarespace is the tool for you. 
They have these beautiful templates, and these templates are not just created by, you know, regular... <laughs> the word, the two words that I thought of, I cannot say in this ad, but dummies, just dummies on the street. You know, you don't want you don't want templates created by them. You want beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And not to mention that you want the ability to customize just about anything with just a few clicks. You can make your own website yourself. It's so easy. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything you want online, and they have analytics that help you grow your site in real time. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box. Don't worry about that. There's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. And buying domains, it's simple. It's, 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 I think it's as easy as just typing in the domain and, and doing it. It's so easy. And you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people. And some animals, I would think. From designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms, even the lowly businesses that are restaurants and gyms use Squarespace. So, uh, look, your business is going to be fine. If even restaurants and gyms bleh, are using Squarespace, you're going to be okay with it. They use it to turn their great ideas into something real, and you can too. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com, offer code BANGBANG for 10% off. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back with Lyle Cummings, um, who is an entrepreneur currently selling sherbet just to uh, get himself off the streets. And uh, we also have uh, Peppers McGilly via phone, who is the superintendent of middle school out there in Macon. And uh, he is uh, – uh, at what point, Peppers, if I may ask, did you stop dressing up as your mother? And what was the reaction then? It was about um, five years ago. Five years ago. So this is a long time. This, I mean, the oh, late yeah. – the 80s, the late 80s at least, through 2013 or so. I, you were dressing was, up I, as your well, mother. I knew I knew Peppers mainly as his mom. <laughs> okay, you never mentioned that. <laughs> so that's why you were having so much trouble coming up with his name earlier is because you I was, knew. I was trying to think, oh, wait, is this? Uh, oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> right, he became Peppers, yes. yeah, five years ago. I'm on the email chain, so I got the update. Oh, okay. So, And what was the reaction to this? Um, when I came, when I finally, when you finally unveiled myself and yeah. my grandma and my mother came back to being herself. Yeah. Um. People are like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, no big surprise to them. They knew something was. They just thought that was your thing. <laughs> They're like, why are you doing that for so long? Um, <laughs> and I said, I don't know. Maybe I kind of fell in love with that. And uh, and it was true. I did. I did marry uh, Don Carsdale. <laughs> For, I, was married, I was a great wife to him for seven you, years. You are a great wife to your own dad? <laughs> <laughs> to your own stepdad, I guess. Yes, my own yeah. stepdad. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> okay, guys, is that your special laugh? <laughs> laugh in your, down in your, hey, hey, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be from Franklin County, Georgia without having that laugh. Yeah, Tell you I what. guess so. So... So, uh, so what happened to Don? Was Don an older gentleman? I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do. Don I do need to, to clarify this. You were, you would assume that you dated your, your, your oh, married, wife. I was married. You were married to, to your Don? mom's <laughs> husband. No, he, you got married. You you met someone and fell in love with him as, while you were dressed as your mother, and you married him. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, and where's where's your actual father, Peppers? Uh, passed away, or oh yeah, he passed. Uh, away. He passed away. Okay, so she was free uh, to marry whomever she liked. He passed away when he was twenty six. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. So he, my, my mother was a widow. Widowess. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> widow. Widowess. <laughs> widowess. <laughs> so you don't have to put a female spin on widow. He's, he's the board of education superintendent. Okay, so. I, I beg your pardon. That's She's, right. Yeah, so she was a widow for for eighty five years. Huh? So long, and so you decided time to get her <laughs> hitched. Um, was this all for her, or was it uh, a man that you fell in love with? You know, it was uh, it was for the job to keep to keep the income, to keep the house open, and uh, and uh, but you know th some things happen. 
Um, you spend time with the, someone you work with, and you start having feelings for the person. Oh, did Don yeah. work at the school? Uh, he's you're trying to get you're trying to get Pippers to explain love. I, I, I mean, I know love is inexplicable, and you know whomever you choose to love is is your thing. I just I did. Oh. Did Don ever figure out that you were not your mother? No. Good. <laughs> Good. No, I, I couldn't do that to him. Yeah. He was a very sweet man. Did he pass away, or why Why were you only married seven years? He did. He passed away. Um, I'm so sorry. His, uh, his Jeep rolled right into him. His Jeep just rolled right into him? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he was still driving at it. He didn't put it in park, and yeah. uh, it, rolled up in it, it rolled into his living room while he was watching. <laughs> into his game. living room? He was watching some golf, and he rolled it, his own Jeep rolled into his living room and crushed him. Wow! And so I this love is that at, man. This is at your mom's house, I would imagine. Where the, the, what, you know, what were you and your mom? Because your mom was dressed as you, and you were dressed as your mom. Uh, my mom, my mother was bathing me <laughs> upstairs. So, happened. but to Don's view, the it looks like son, the son is bathing <laughs> his mother. <laughs> okay, and yeah, like you got, have no questions <laughs> asked, which is fortunate for all of us. Okay, yeah. Sometimes you slide into certain scenarios where you mm. didn't know you were going to be comfortable. With. Yeah, but yeah. and so your mom enjoyed being young and being you. And you know who doesn't to enjoy being and stuff. Oh, going, man. Going to concerts. She Is became that? a real metal head <laughs> with that beanie on the propeller on the back and going to metal yeah. concerts okay. and dry, flying around on well, a look, scooter, a razor it. scooter. She loved it, and you loved what you were doing, and you were in love with Don, and, and what a terrible tragedy. That sounds awful. I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, uh, did and and you guys were upstairs, and suddenly you you hear all this crashing. I would imagine and. Uh, you're like, hey, wait a minute, is this Pete Holmes on HBO? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> that uh, that Ari Lang fella better calm down a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? You have, a, calm you, down you have you have some bit. opinions on Ari Lang? <laughs> that Ari Lang <laughs> fella better, better calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so I don't know that we need to get into. I mean, that's his business, whatever he does. I do. And this whole Westworld, too, has me confounded. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah. I what shot a child on Do they know what's going to happen? That's yeah, the what? worst thing is when the, you used to get a feeling in the television show head, they have absolutely no idea where they're going. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we're talking about Westworld <laughs> at this point. Your Westworld, life is part of their over. curriculum. Over Your there. life is so much more interesting than Westworld, I, I would say. Peppers. That's a, that's, a, <laughs> that's a lovely thing. And I thank you very much for thinking that. Oh, I do. I, I mean, a regular person trying to get through. We're all just it. And, uh, I did. I lived as my mother for for a good twelve years, I believe. No, it was, it was more like thirty. <laughs> oh, right, thirty years. Yeah, it was a long. Yeah, time. it was a long, long time. Twenty four years, twenty five years, somewhere in there. It's, bit, it's um, been a while. It's it's definitely been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, man. Um, That's great news. Well, I'm so glad that you <laughs> guys. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You got spam? Um, all right, guys. Wait, wait, such a thing, would you? <laughs> oh, my, we are big fans. <laughs> okay, thank you. I nail down there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you meant this show. No. Um, um, all right. So, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I got to go. Oh. I got to work. All right. Well, <laughs> what are you up to today besides taking the books out of first graders? Right now, I'm, hands. Picking, I'm picking out precious metals to build that statue to <laughs> Tibbet. You're picking them out, meaning the, you're just choosing? Well, there's a salesman here, a statue salesman, and we're going to try to make this out of the most expensive, mm. uh, most durable metal we can find. Well, so. you've been raising money for it for 30 years. So. <laughs> yeah. Please go to Macon Middle School, Tennyson, Georgia, Tibbet Fund, statue.com. And please give what you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think anyone is going to give money to erect a statue of a seven foot four inch incarcerated child killer. Child Go ahead, killer with hands the size of of bunches of grapes. Just a real murderous homunculus. Well, that's why it's a warning to the future generations. Don't be like him. This is one of the most important statues the area has ever dared to erect. And we got about a statue for just about everything. Okay. All right. Children need to be afraid of something when they're growing up. <laughs> okay. And since they can't go to that's the jail, right. they might as well have a boogeyman. Might as well have a boogeyman. I've always said, might as well have a boogeyman. Might as well have a boogeyman. Well, might as well have a might boogeyman well to you. Might as well have a boogeyman. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> all right. Bye, well, guys. All right. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. Wow. If that ain't one of the most charming men you've ever met in your <laughs> I life. I don't know. What it's, a strange fellow. <laughs> I mean, I, when you came in here, I thought that you were kind of an odd, <laughs> odd bird. But, well, you uh, know, it's better to be weird than to be dead. I, <laughs> and I, I guess tell so. you, I don't know why that's a binary that's choice. That's true. That's true. Uh, man, he's yeah. just an angel. He, the things he's done for the children. Like what? You've heard them. Oh, no. Those you are, need bad, more those examples. are bad things. You need more examples Sh- and yeah, strangle, and organize strangling and the removal of seance pages and children's books. I mean, I, well, yeah. and then erecting a memorial wall for all the people who have post-strangle syndrome, and then a boogeyman statue for the homunculus. Need, all right, I, I, you guess, I guess you're right. Table. And then as a selfless act of assuming the role of his mother for 30 plus okay. years. I don't know that it's selfless. Marrying just... his own stepfather and assuming a normal life with his mother as his child. I wonder why he stopped. Uh, he, he's he enjoyed 94. it so much. He's got, he, yeah. At one point, the rug's got to come off. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, well, look, Lyle, uh, you know, we haven't really gotten into uh, anything that you've done post no. that job. It's I fine. Mean, from, I'm fine. From, with... from, the, from the 90s through uh, through through however I, long ago I, you started. I how long have you been doing this? It. I can yeah, summarize it. Just nutshell it for us. Well, plenty of drugs and plenty of chasing demons, which is why I found comfort in my sherbet. So, okay, good. So know, everything's back on track for I, you? I, if more or less, but I'm telling you, you, you end up you end up strangling about two, 300 teens a day. It, it, it sticks with you. A day? Uh, to every yeah, we tried to paint the picture of the epidemic. It was Scott. Okay. Every team, every day, in the whole county was strangling each other. So okay. you know, we so, so three hundred a day in front of a large audience. That's just the seventh and eighth graders. Okay, now we had yeah. about twenty thousand ninth graders. So the the bigger lady, what was her name by the way? Oh shoot, I just know her as the big one. The big one. Do you think we can get her on the phone? Uh, I do have her number, <laughs> you do? but it's under big one, so it's I don't. Not, okay. I'm not going to say, "Hey, big oh, okay. one." Okay, let's that call you? her up. Let's call well, her up. Just as long as you feel comfortable asking for her I, name, I, I, I will do it. I'll tell you what. I'll introduce myself. I'll say you, I'm on okay, some radio great. show. All right, let's call her up. Let's see name. what we got here. Hold on. It's, Here's uh, the, this is it's the number. two two one two two nine or two one nine two one six eight sixty eight sixty eight sixty eight one thousand one thousand. Okay, we got it. Front slash big one. Front slash big one. Got it. Okay. We're connect. Oh, okay, here we go. It's ringing. Hello. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I don't know if y'all remember. If you remember me, it's Lyle Cummings. Uh, you and I used to. Hello, how you doing? You and I used to strangle the uh, teens. Oh, God, those are the days, aren't they? Hello, hello, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, hello. Hello. I'm uh, Scott Ackerman from Comedy Bang Bang. Hello, how are you? To, to whom am I speaking? Big one. <laughs> Oh, it's a real name. Oh, that's a real name. Oh, my God, that's a real name. That's a real name. Uh, Big one. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm really, really good. Oh, is everything all right there? You seem to be sort of choking. Uh, or are, are you being strangled currently? What's that now? <laughs> My girth is strangling me from the inside. Her Your girth, girth is strangling her from the inside. inside. <laughs> 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 All right, well, big one. <laughs> It's been so nice chatting with you. <laughs> it's great to catch up, boy. It's been years. Uh, it's been y'all, great. Y'all want to hear my pussy? No. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so nice to talk to you. All right. Hate to hang up on you. But <laughs> we'll see you later. All right. Thanks. Bye. Ooh. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> We got, real. we got away by the hair on our chinny chin chin. I think she was about seconds away from putting the phone up to her big old pussy. A real rogues gallery I uh, tell you. who worked out there and making. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, you don't get a lot to choose from. It's a small county. Yeah. Well, it's one of the bigger counties in Georgia, but not a lot of people, you understand. Okay, wait, so you mean there's a lot of landmass, but not people? That's true. So, you know, it's slim pickings out there. But mm. she was she had a kind soul. She did uh, do a lot of pussy work. but. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. It was uh, she sort of. We always said that there goes a girl with three hands because she was holding things with her left, her right, and the one in the middle. <laughs> okay, so she used she used her vagina to clasp things. She had like a, a posable. 
She just an opposable had a lot of, vulva lips. She or? Has, <laughs> she, <laughs> did she have opposable <laughs> vulva lips? Look, uh, all I can tell you yeah, is please. by the end of it, she was writing. By the end of what? <laughs> her time with the school. She was writing stuff with She's her writing stuff. John her. Okay. She had her she was holding pens and pencils and stuff. She was mm. she actually uh she started uh as the pitcher for the women's softball team. Oh, that's oh uh, and that's she wonderful. pitched with her pussy. Okay. She was the pussy pitcher. <laughs> okay, great. Fantastic. Well Lyle, it's it's been so interesting getting to know you. <laughs> it's such a treat to meet uh, uh, a troubled soul such as yourself. But well, I, I well, I, I tell you what, I have a lot less trouble in my life thanks to yeah. pouring my heart and soul on this shirt. Burn. Well, I, I, I wish you a, peace. A cool representation of the South these days. Yeah, you know, it's it's a nice to get a it's nice a, well, feel for. So many times when you hear uh, or, or you're watching a piece of media and you see a Southern character, there, uh, some sort of broad caricature. <laughs> it's so nice to see. Someone like Lyle here, who's just a nice, normal guy oh, yeah, who, yeah. who comes from a small town in the south, or a, a, a large county with not a lot of people. It, a it, town not unlike the ones we grew up in. That's sure. True. Y'all, y'all it, hey, I'm from the bottom of my heart, it's nice to see some Yankee cucks who... <laughs> just, Wait, that's us? <laughs> really have a... Have, y'all, have, y'all open your door to me and... Uh, I don't know I why you gotta say, call us cucks then. I just wanna say... <laughs> if you're complimenting. I just wanna say uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll leave right. a tub with y'all. It, what uh, does that mean? A uh, tub of sherbet. Oh, thank you. Tub oh, yeah, not the swirled kind, though. If you won't, if you won't swirl, I'll give you swirl. No, we don't want the swirled. We want just... Uh, Horatio, what, what flavor do you want? Uh, I guess orange. Yeah, did you say uh, orange, mandarin yeah. orange? Yeah, can you leave the mandarin orange with us? Sure, my okay. pleasure. Great, my pleasure. And it, this is uh, frozen, or it's liquid form. Okay, you I don't do, you I don't do have refrigeration. Sherbet. What? Do. You don't have refri- refrigeration. <laughs> this in the is straight truck. out the mines. You understand? <laughs> I do wet, unfiltered <laughs> sherbet. Okay, straight out the mines. Do we freeze it up, or if you want, you can Y'all can do it. Hey, beauty of America is when you buy sherbet, you yeah. can do whatever you want to. This looks this looks just like a tub of orange juice. Like it has pulp in it. I, I don't know what you want. You I, want me to take it back? I, I don't know. Horatio, do you still want it? Oh, is that like a green highlighter at the bottom of that? Yeah, what's good? What's good? It is, it's it's a, you have to put a highlighter in it, otherwise it goes bad. <laughs> you don't know much about <laughs> sherbet, do you? It's disgusting. I guess I we'll try it. Yeah, I, yeah if yeah. you want it, I, I don't know that yeah. I'm going to partake. You have to take the cap off a highlighter, put it in the, put it in the tub, <laughs> otherwise it does go bad. Okay, yeah, I don't know. All right, Something well. a highlighter that keeps <laughs> sherbet fresh. <laughs> All right, Lyle. I don't know. Do you do any business? Does anyone buy anything from you? Uh, it, it's slow, but last year I made, I netted in the green about $36 million. <laughs> $36 million? But it's slow. But you, but no. It's slow. You said this is less money than you got for, you know, sucking D all up and down the Carolina down the coast. coast. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was just covering your basic expenses? What are your expenses? I have, I have a privately funded Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> so a private army? What what do they do for you? Oh, they protect me. <laughs> they protect me from the troubles of the world. Okay. And uh, I, I I have this summer. I am launching my very own summer offensive in uh, well, small country hmm. of uh, Italy. It's not the smallest. I mean, it's not I the biggest have either. To, but. I first, um, just following the Allied invasion, mm. and I uh, landed at Sicily. Okay, and well, I'm making my way up, and I'm going to conquer Italy. So you're invading Italy this summer with your own with private, private, private Corps. mercenaries. Yes, sir. Okay, well, good luck to you. I mean, you have well, a lot of money to, to do it. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're sweet. You're man. quite welcome. Well, yeah. you know, we're running out of time here. We only have one last thing to do on the show, and that is, of course, a little something called Plugs.
Very nice. It's kind of a, of a Weezer yeah, type say, feel. Weezer. Yeah. Um, that was Plug Me In by Brandon Carnes. Although I have to say, if you have time for a guitar solo in your plugs theme, it's probably a guitar solo too long. Don't you think? Damn. <laughs> Shit. Brandon, y'all got served. <laughs> and not the kind of serving that you do. No, out, man, out there on the street. Oh, man, you got served with a stink of Shit. <laughs> with a highlighter at the uh, bottom. That, well, only to keep it fresh. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, what are we plugging here? Uh, Horatio, do you have anything to plug? Uh, well, as you you reminded me, uh, Glow. <laughs> you forgot you were in Glow? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you must have. What was it like working with uh, the Glow Girls and Mark Marin? Uh, wonderful. The Glow Girls, they're, they're really fun. They're actually, I had the, when you're shooting with them, you're actually watching them really wrestle all day. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. And, and, and you were invited to watch them wrestle? Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. They didn't kick me out when they were wrestling. Mm hmm. Uh, Good and uh, and and uh, yeah, I know a lot of them. Kimmy and yeah, Kimmy and Rebecca. Rebecca and those guys yeah. are all sweethearts. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was good. And uh, and always nice to see Mr. Marin. Mm hmm. Good mm -hmm. times. You ever do his show? I did. I have a couple traitor. Times. Traitor. Sorry, man. <laughs> um. So <laughs> glow. Anything else? Uh, you ever going back to SNL? Uh, there's talk of it. There's yeah. talk that I'm gonna come back and do Kim Jong Un. <laughs> right. So well, that, we're in negotiations all summer. Great, great. Yeah, we'll also, happens. yeah, we'll see if you close it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> awesome. Uh, I want to plug. Uh, go head on over to Podswag.com to see new T-shirts in the store, uh, and you can always check out the Comedy Bang Bang TV show on Netflix. Uh, hopefully it'll be up for a while. I've received no news on when it will go to any other territory other than the U.S. Uh, for seasons four and five. I'm not in control of these things. Uh, and Lyle, what do you want to plug? Well, uh, I, I, anything you like, by the way. I'm assuming this is probably going to air after it, but you will have probably missed uh, this group, Middle Edition Schwartz. They're, they're, they're such gone. a funny, <laughs> such, such a funny crew, and they're doing their show just no. at, during Comic Con. So yeah, I, no, no, definitely not. Comic Con up. has already happened. Already happened. Yeah. Uh, well, you missed it. Missed it. And uh, you're going to have to wait a long time now uh, for the next season of Silicon Valley. It is coming up. You're going to have to wait. Uh, wait, and you like Silicon Valley? I you, love it. Yeah. There's a little dinger on there who's one of the main dinger dongers. He's a real funny guy. He's got a big old nose, terrible teeth, and eyes that look like they're going to fall out of his fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> but, if someone were to just touch his shoulders just too hard. Touch his shoulders. Just his eyes will bloop pop out. the Raul Julia. Just his yeah. eyes come right out. Turn into sludge. You Zach Woods is a friend of mine. <laughs> Raul Julia is? Zach Woods. Oh, Zach, Zach Woods. Woods. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Raul Julia was a friend of mine. He was, hey, yeah. He's, yeah, <laughs> and uh, boy, I tell you, when it comes out, you gotta keep your eyes out for Godzilla Two: King of the Monsters. Oh yeah, okay. Is well, that, that? I mean, that's ages away. I'm that's sure. oh, so long from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you are considering a a, a, a change in your telecommunications service provider, <laughs> <laughs> I hear that uh, Verizon is that the one that's the good one, or is it Sprint? I, I can't remember. Know, some guy who just will not get off my damn TV set. Same old eye bulger as the Silicon yeah. Valley. Yeah, it's also when like you're playing a game online, like Words with Friends or yeah. something. It's also like constantly it, comes yeah. up there and, too. And now if you go to a movie. Movie theater. Oh God! It's going you to, can't it, escape it. Yeah, sometimes you I hope, just want to tear your own mind out. I hope he was well compensated for that because it's ruining his career, in my opinion. I, I agree. It's something that keeps me up at night just on his behalf. <laughs> okay, well let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa! What a bag! It's time to open it. Horatio, that's you. Yeah? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, it's you, me, and the aforementioned Ben Schwartz. Uh, all right. Well, uh, Lyle, I want to thank you so much uh, for coming here and just gracing us with your presence and uh, continued success to you. Thank you, man. And uh, as far as the uh, the invasion of Italy goes, you know. There's I open. Mean, yeah, I mean, would you? I mean, I guess you would. You would get the Vatican and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna too. claim you, it for America. We're yeah. Gonna, we're taking oh, it. so you're doing it for America, not for yourself. Well, I will sell it. You sell it to America. It, yeah, I'm going. I gotta make money off of it. So that'll now. be sort of like a territory, like the Virgin Islands, for us or something. Hey, man, however y'all want to work out the deal, you can leave it to. You, you can leave it to old DT. Yeah. So this is quite an investment for you. you Art of the deal. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> and Horatio, always great to see you. 
Likewise, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I wait. We're getting a, we're getting another phone call. Uh, oh, oh, maybe this is Peppers. Uh, hello, Comedy Bang Bang. Hey, this is Peppers. Oh, Peppers! We were just about to uh, finish the show. Uh, I just was on to say it was a pleasure being on there. Yeah. And uh, and also, please please donate to the wall. I guess that's my plug. Okay, no, well, no plugs name. are over. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. You I'm missed sorry. them. All right, never mind. Well, thank you. Good seeing y'all. Yeah, do you have any last words of wisdom, something that you impart to your students, perhaps? Uh, just, uh, we're, you know, we're, we have a lot of uh, naive young minds who listen to this. Uh, impressionable youths, I guess, listen to this program. Any advice for them? Um, when in doubt, choke them out. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Thanks, Peppers. You're a dear. All right, bye-bye. Uh, you want to do your final laugh? <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, Peppers. All Thanks, right, and we'll now. see you later. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hello. This is an ad, and you're listening to an Earwolf podcast. That's right. We're an ad for a different Earwolf podcast called Off Book: The Improvised Musical with Zach and Jess. That other voice you heard is Jessica McKenna. That's Zach Reno. Every week we have a guest on, and we improvise a completely brand new musical with a piano player and drummer in studio and the guests are awesome people you know and love from the comedy world we just had our one year anniversary we brought a lot of those guests back people like Paul F. Tompkins Scott Ackerman Paul Shear, uh, Eliza, Eliza Skinner, Skinner. Love, lots of people who you love and we just basically make up a musical every time and it's great and if you've never listened to it you should I know what you're thinking, what you're thinking. that sounds really lame that sounds so lame and if I was growing out I just might feel the same Here's the thing that I want you, I want you to know. First of all, it's funny, so you'll totally like it, bro. So you're wrong. If you're not listening. Yeah, it'll be like that, but longer and a whole musical with a plot. And a guest. And a guest. Get on it. Off book. Improvised musical wherever podcasts are cast. Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts Usador, the Blue Wizard and Chunk, the Shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers, wedding planners, ambulatory trees. But this week we have a special episode. I am so excited to learn about the Earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're going to do a book club of Pride and Prejudice. And you say this is a well-loved book on Earth, right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more more likely, it's one of those I'm going to get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food of a book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian, and Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not, Not enough, enough sword, sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book!